Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today I have a special channel for you. I'm going to do a transformative channel style, which is where I share space with a spirit from the afterlife, someone who I know very well and am very comfortable with, and that is Prince. So I hope you enjoy this trans, T-R-A-N-S dash channel. You will also hear on this particular video my husband's voice as he is asking some questions that have been um, predefined for the session since you know I can't really talk from behind the scenes because it's Prince's stage. All right, so let's get started. All right. I'm here. I don't feel the use of her full body, however. Which is unusual. Usually I'm quite comfortable, but everything feels a little stiff. See if she can uh, calm her energy down a little bit more. I know what's wrong, the ear cuff. She usually puts on a... If you have that, I'll be happy to take it. Ah, ha, 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 yes. Hard to use hands. Can't quite. There we go. Is that good? Can't quite feel it. Ah, much better. Ah, much better. I can't believe she forgot that. We always do that. That's our thing. <laughs> All right. Give me the questions. Well, you're in a hurry today. Well, I know Bridget's not going to, you know, she has, she's a time freak today, apparently. <laughs> okay. Well, firstly, uh, we want to know uh, about a little bit how intuition works and some intuition tips and or advice. Uh, for us to be better at it. Mm. Intuition. I can feel my guitar right here and I just want to play. Okay. You should really get Bridget to pick up the guitar. That would be, wouldn't that be just awesome? That would be incredible to play. I. Ah. Uh, well, it's pretty obvious that music is connected to intuition. That is a pure channel, Bridget's words, pure channel. Music. 
Music would help you connect to your intuition, but I think you know that through the lyrics. You you begin to learn, identify, know messages, and you feel that frequency that's being shared through that artist who is the channel. Whichever artist you listen to, not it's not just about me and my music. There's so many incredibly talented artists then and now. So those who are on this in this uh, this space, this vibration with me, and those who are still on your planet Earth, I would say that the music is an incredibly easy way to connect with your intuition. But I'm thinking this question is about spirit about connecting to your knowledge, what you know, and really what it takes for intuition to even work in your space, in your energy space. You must trust yourself. And ain't nobody out there trusts themselves. Nobody. It's hard to trust yourself. There's so much information, messages, this sensory overload. So much information coming in. It's hard to know, well, is that something I should do? It sounds like it's a, like authoritative, you know, the power of the authority, the people in power, and you feel like, oh, that makes sense. They're, they're so much more educated than I am. They're so much more skilled than I am. They must know. But you see, it's not about what other people know. It's about what you know. So you've got to trust yourself. And in order to trust yourself, you have to build that. Bridget would say relationship, but that's true. She's true on that. Relationship with your soul, your spirit, because that, that is what you really need. That is what you need. Then you'll feel better. You'll, you'll get information. You'll get knowings. You'll, you'll be able to eh, figure that out. What does that mean for you? But you got to trust yourself. In order to trust yourself, you got to know yourself and you got to really be on your own side and recognize that information coming from outside of you is not the expert advice that you really need. You've got an inner guidance system. You've got a compass inside of you. Everyone does. Some call it God. I would have called it God when I was in a body. Bridget would say, source, creator, universe. She would say that, you know, she's got to like, include everybody. She's got to make sure she includes, don't leave everybody out, don't leave anybody out. And I know it's not easy to trust yourself. So that is something that I recognize is not easy. But if you want, to use your intuition, which is basically a communication system inside you. You got to trust the information that you're getting from inside you. You got to trust the source of the information, which is you. And you don't trust yourself. And that's common. That's not a, I'm not trying to dig on you. That's common. It's easy to look outside, to look to other people. They, they seem like they know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Not for you. What's right for you? That's what I would say. That's what I would say about intuition. Bridget and I can have conversation about this. We can talk about it. We can have this discussion more in depth. I know she'd have some things she'd want to say about it. I know, she, I know she'd have some things she'd want to say about it. I'm surprised she's keeping her mouth shut. But she's being good. She's backstage. She's being good. She's not coming in. She's going to kill me, but I'm already dead. <laughs> mm. All right. Do you have more? Do you got some more for me? We do. Um, do spirits like our loved ones in particular lose their ability to show signs and um, connect 
with us after a period of time in the afterlife? No. Next question. No, I know I need to explain this. I know because I heard you all talking about this before we started. No. The, the loss of connection you're talking about is really the difference that you feel between them as a person and them as a spirit. They're just more spirit. So it's not that they're not coming around more. It's that maybe that you don't recognize that spirit part of who they are as much as you relate to their human part. So it's a different energy. You've heard Bridget describe me differently than how you would recognize me. She knows me different because she knows me as spirit first and then as human. So much easier that way. No preconceived expectations or ideas or expectations is the best way. No, no set idea of how it's supposed to be. So if it doesn't show up that way, then obviously um, it's, not, it's not happening. But that's not the truth. That's not the truth. You gotta open your mind to the possibility of connection in different ways. It's gonna feel different. And that's good, that's a good thing because you're different. The whole point is for you to heal, evolve. And when you use your spirit to connect with spirit, you heal and grow and evolve. And that's what the intuition question was about. I know that connection to your spirit. So no, they don't lose that ability, but you kind of tune out of the frequency like it's not as familiar to you that spirit so if you do the do the 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 things to connect with your intuition that's going to help you connect with them so like i'm assuming you're asking about loved ones like you know grandpa in heaven that's what bridget said grandpa she said grandpa in heaven yes they can still connect but it's different it's different it's not exactly how you would expect them to because they're different. They're pure spirit, not human and spirit. If that makes sense. I think that makes some sense. Like I'm different. You've heard Bridget talk to me over the uh, talk. I'll, she's done. We've talked about this. We've done videos about this. How things change over time because the frequency changes because you change. It's not necessarily just a me I change, I get closer to God, and so I got the better vibes than you, I got the better seats than you have, you know. You gotta sit way in the back and the obstructed view, and I'm up here on the stage. It's not about that. It's not about that climbing up and getting closer necessarily. It's more about the the tune, the frequency, the the right setting on that dial to get that vibration and to let yourself, allow yourself to let the music change. You know how there's different styles? Like, look at my stuff. Look at all my stuff. They're different styles from whatever mood you're in. You got, I got you covered. And you don't always listen to me. You listen to other musicians, other artists, different vibes, different styles. And, and we change over time and you change, you change over time. You should be changing. If you're connected to spirit, you should be changing. You should be growing, evolving. Your frequency should be getting higher and higher and not higher and higher as far as, oh, you're so much better because you're up here now. You're on the stage and not in the, the nosebleed seats. No, it's not about importance. It's about the evolution, you know, the change and that you have, you, gosh, as humans, you have so much restriction and boxes around you that it's hard, even in the way you ask your questions, I feel the confinement and the, uh, the desire to be free of that and to understand how that spiritual evolution really works and it is a bit of a mystery and it's intended to be because too much information will blow your mind your mind can't even you can't even do the intuition how are you going to do the mysteries of the universe and the understanding of the afterlife and the goal is not to understand the afterlife you'll understand you when you get here you'll have the experience the, the goal is to be people good people 
that have spirit, that have soul, that are connected through spirit to spirit. That's the harmony. That's the vibration. That's the point. That's the point. That's how you're healing. That's how you're growing. And you are. You're healing and you're growing. You're doing both. Speaking of that, the tummy's a little sore right now. Solar plexus. I can feel her body. It's uh, pushing a little bit. But we can ask. Do you have another question? You can do another one. Yes. Uh, she's a little like, it's like she's done a bunch of sit-ups. And that's like solar plexus, that spirit right there. Kind of combining a couple questions here. Uh, do you know? Do you know our names? And have you met our family members? I heard you talking about the name. Yeah. The have names. you met the family members and are they aware of you helping us heal? It's like y'all think we all get together and just talk about you. It's not really like that. But this is a hard one to explain in human terms because we feel one another. We're, there's no real separation, like individuals as persons, people, you have bodies. And although spirit is attached and connected, housed within a body, and it's separate at that point, which is why you feel separation. And that longing to join, to become oneness again, and want that freedom to become oneness. In this, the space from which I'm speaking, it is translucent. Like all this, the soul energies come together as one and are moving and fluid and pulsing. And it's definitely a, a, a different kind of, it's hard to explain in human terms. It's not separate. It's not one spirit comes to, to the afterlife and then it's that spirit. There is still attributes, characteristics, cellular information, data that we can tap into in order to be able to come through in channels such as this, but there's not an individual type of, uh, there's not an individualized separate columns of light. That's what Bridget would describe it, columns of light. So truly, yes, there is a harmonization with your group your soul group, your family group, there is that acknowledgement and awareness, but it's a harmonization and it's really with all souls, not just isolated to separate family clusters. It's not, it's not like what you think it is. It's so much more broader than that, inclusive than that. So broad and inclusive, it's both, which adds a huge layer of complexity for the mind to try to process that. And yes, I know your names. That's a human thing, but it's really important. It's a really personal thing, and that's really important. So yes, I know your names. I know you. The vibration of your name, the tone of your, the words put together that create your name. Yes, I know your name. And uh, Bridget and I have a, we have a thing that we do. I, I bug her sometimes if uh, she's not paying attention. She's ignoring my request for session, or if she's not, um, and it's not, let me just be clear, I am not demanding. I am not a diva in the afterlife. I do not demand her time. But it's for her best interest to help her to achieve what she wants to achieve, to help her in her healing to talk with me, for us to have session. And I'm saying this now here because she will see this video and she will know what I'm trying to talk about. I have time to talk here and we're talking. So you need to be listening. So she needs the healing too. She needs the session too, the time with me too. So you see, that's how that works. So nice how I got that in here. Nice how I got that in here. So the call my name song, she'll talk about this. She's heard that, the call my name song. I sing to her. She cannot ignore me. She knows that's a hello, you're overdue. Your time, a session time is overdue. <laughs> oh, she is gonna kill me if I wasn't already dead. <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. So can you tell us about, tell us any new friends or friends, best friends you have? Uh, 
on the spirit side. You moved. I can hear you over here now. Best friends on the spirit. <clears throat> I'd like to make a joke right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, because the truth, real, really, that's a, I mean, that's a great, that's a fun question. But the truth is, like I, how I describe the family and connecting with all the souls, there's really not the individual separation. However, just like with people, when you have things in common with them, you tend to be connected or gravitate so when one comes in another might come in how uh, Bridget and Bridget and I and Elvis have been talking the three of us and how you know Tom Petty or especially the guitar players that seems to be a kind of a theme you know the jamming out in the afterlife um, and he's a good guitar player more than people recognize I think although I don't really prefer his brand of guitar but uh, He's got good sound. He's got good sound. So I'd say anyone that can play music or wants to jam, that's a good vibration to be part of To Because that's when, that's how people, humans, best relate to intuition, to spirit, to connection. That's how they heal. That's how they grow. They will listen to lyrics and music oh, all the time. They will listen and they will feel the vibration and that vibration, that shh that shake in the core of the body that's that's melody that's the music that's the harmonies that makes a difference so anybody that's connected in spirit in the afterlife that feels that vibration or who's or in part whose purpose it is to help with healing will come together to support whatever the effort is for that particular purpose person uh, reason type of a thing request i'll say that but I do like Elvis. Bridget's right on that. I do like him quite a bit. We have a lot in common. Michael Jackson's kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, you know, I, he he just needs a little more time. He kind of grows on you after a while. But I do really I do like Tom Petty, and he's not a big talker either. He's he's kind of quiet, so you know it works. But that's about it. That's pretty much it. Sure, she's gonna have a lot to say about this. So we'll see what happens. Well, that kind of brings us to the end of our time today. Any last thoughts you want to leave us with? Tell Bridget I want a session with just her. She and I just need to talk. Just her and I. You don't have to have cameras. You don't have to have audios. You don't have to record nothing. Just you and I talk. That'd be a good idea. Let me, let me help you. So, yeah, that's it. She's coming in. She's right in the tummy. She really is poking at the belly in the back. Uh, she might come in pretty fast. I feel like I'm in a club. Like I can see all sorts of like lights. And I'm just going to calm it down. He's really, um, he feels like he really, I don't want to say he was angry. He wasn't angry, but, and not even annoyed at me, but I feel like he was, uh, he really w is not super happy with me right, <laughs> right now because I'm not taking care of my own stuff, I think. Not health-wise, I'm doing great health-wise, but I think he just wants me to have more conversation with him, dialogue. I could feel that. He just, every chance he got, I could feel Bridget, you should be talking to me. You should just be talking to me. Everybody else doesn't have to listen to us talk all the time, you know, kind of thing. Like, ask for help, ask for help. And it's not because I feel like I necessarily need, oh, I need help, I need help or anything. But for the amount of channeling, the amount of work that I've been doing with the afterlife and the different vibrations, I definitely could use, you know, like a, a psychic spirit, a spirit coach in the afterlife to help me to just process, digest. And I did that a little bit this morning. I had a video I did, and you guys will see it as well, um, where I just have a conversation. I called it my casual conversation um, with Prince in the afterlife because that's how we used to do that all the time. And now that I've been recording so much for Above Life Channel, I haven't really um, had a whole lot of 
time or made time to just talk with him one-on-one, -on -one, so I'll probably do that because I think he really wants me to do that. So, All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, if you were on my Facebook page and you submitted some questions, thank you very much. There's a ton of questions, which are great, which I set a few aside because I'd like to ask him again in the future, and maybe I'll just do conversation style with him and chat with him about some great, you guys really brought up some great topics. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Remember, you're watching this video here at Above Life channel, and the purpose of this channel is to inspire your spirit, I hope we did that today, and to fill you up with hope. Remember, it's your life, so live it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a weekly channel. Thanks for being here.